Okay, Marina, here's some feedback on your writing. So first of all, let's start with task one. So you can see uh, writing task one, the original question, there was two pie charts and some information above and on the side. And what you've done in your first sentence is you've basically um, summarized uh, very nicely, I think, what the pie charts show. So you always start off answering the writing task one by saying what does this show what's this table or pie chart or graph or even diagram what does it show or illustrate and you've also changed the language so you haven't just copied the same text but you've um, paraphrased it you've rewritten it which is very good a very good academic skill so that's a good start um, you've got comparisons between 2000 and 2010 and in this paragraph you say in 2000 we can see that the number of students unable to speak a second language represents 20 percent of the student body of the university under study. This is very good. I mean, it's a very good sentence. Um, you've you've got a general. Um, what's the you know you've got a general point. What what's the most obvious thing that you can see? Uh, and then you've got a comparison with 2010, so 10 years later, and this proportion decreased slightly. So this is very good in terms of the language, the academic language that you you, you need to use for IELTS writing. Um, by contrast, good, nice cohesive device, only a tiny fraction of the student po population is trilingual. Okay, um, I can't see anywhere where it says trilingual, so that's excellent. That, I mean, it's good. What You've used a, a good word to describe people that speak three languages or two or more languages. That's good. Um, when it comes to the amount, and then you go drill down to some of the details when it comes to the amount of undergraduate studies speaking a second language, then you go into a bit more detail. So this, this is good. What you've done, you've got a first sentence, which basically gives a, a broad overview of what this uh, thing shows then you've got a second paragraph which gives you the main points and then you drill down when I say, so when I say drill down you've gone into a bit more detail about specific numbers and specific languages uh, so that's good and then you finish with this, uh, an overall sentence um, an overall conclusion the pie chart shows uh, pie chart illustrate so again you've got illustrate which compares with shows which is nice uh, that they're synonyms that's good the positive trend in the percentage of undergrad students aware of the advantages that a second language gives now, um, now I can't see anywhere there where it talks about the advantages that a second language gives. So my only criticism here would be don't don't you don't say don't give an opinion because it seems to be your seems to be suggesting that this shows something which it doesn't show. It doesn't tell us about the advantages of learning a second language. We can know that, but that's something you would use in task two, not in task one. In task one, you simply state what you see. You simply write about what you see. You don't read into it too much and, and come up with sort of conclusions that the, um, there's advantages in learning a second language. But otherwise, that's very, very good. And I think that's probably, uh, I think that's at least a seven in IELTS. Um, I can't see any, the language is very good. The grammar is very good. It may be even higher. Okay, moving on to task two so let's just get task two up and let's get it up on the left hand side as well so task two was about uh, waste about recycling and you've got climate change has been on the spotlight in many years not only the, the phenomenon but in causes and consequences so the language immediately the language is very academic it's very good high IELTS language uh, recycling for instance you've got the for instance as a as a, as a, as a, as a cohesive device which we've looked at in class uh, it's incredibly useful, affordable way for the vast majority. Okay, nonetheless, it's yeah. So on that issue, taken nature consumes, want to preserve our flat. So again, I mean, with with task two, you are giving your opinion. You are it is discursive. You are discussing the topic. You are uh, giving reasons for your answers, including relevant examples. Um, so you've you've put uh, non you've you've got a mistake there. You've put N you've got NGOs, you've got ONGs, you'll be NGOs, but you've got it right here. Non governmental organisations such as Greenpeace or Oxfam. Uh, I don't know what Intermon is, but I'm sure it's a um, uh, an environmental group. Uh, hold the opinion that the coin caused the bad. Okay, which in society, line the attitude of world governance. Yeah, I mean this is I mean the lack of problems. Yeah, I mean this is very good. I mean, don't did you do this with that dictionary? Because if you have used a dictionary, fine. But you're not allowed to use a dictionary in the exam. If you haven't used a dictionary, then you're already showing 
uh, a very high level of academic language. So you've got things like facility, facilities spelled correctly, resources, economic status, therefore inhabitants. These are all perfectly good, no, they're very good words, uh, academic words, and you've used them and spelt them correctly to commit to our purpose. Um, yeah, so you're making some points in addition to, so again, you are building up your argument, you're building up your opinion, uh, individual level, yeah, however, okay, this, I mean, this is very good, again, so your level of language and your level of uh, how you've answered this question is very good, you've got some uh, contrasting views, however, uh, showing a contrast with what went in the previous paragraph, uh, that is to say you are, ex okay, so you're exploring and you're clarifying what you mean by your point here, that is to say, additional recycling fees or communities, in fact, okay, yeah, um, consider, social behavior in short in short yeah okay in short in summary it is important but so i mean uh, marina this is very good i mean i don't know what you, i think you're after an iot 7 you are already at iot 7 if this is what you've done without using a dictionary and if you've timed yourself and you've only taken 60 minutes to write both task 1 and task 2 you are already doing very very well maybe you can tell me tonight when we're not doing the actual test either before or just after um whether how long it took you to do this answer and whether you used a dictionary because it's very very good and again I would give that at least a seven maybe even an eight in IELTS if that's genuinely what you've done because it's very very good so um, tell me tonight uh, we need honesty if, if it is what you've done fantastic because you're already on to, to, to getting a good score in IELTS I think so see you tonight